Hello everybody, welcome to Nexus the Jupiter Incident, Stargate War Begins, I'm Pluto the Planet. Welcome back, uh, as I said in the last video, we're now almost in range, I think the Asgard ship has a 14,000 kilometer range, and we're gonna be shooting off our first shots pretty soon. Actually, the, uh... The Komodo has sent off the first shots. Rising. Now we've got this as well. With all three firepower, all three ships combined, firing at this one ship is going to go down pretty darn quickly. As you can see, with even two of them, it's gone already. Now we'll go for the next closest one, which is the Void Rider. The names on this, I think, are randomly generated from a list. Um, some of them are pretty darn cool. Oh, we gotta make you only do that. focus on. The nice thing about the ghoul or ghoul are that they're nice and slow. So, the beam cannons don't have any trouble hitting them, unlike the um, Asgard Lost Tribe ships from last time. Now we'll get right up and close to this Star Slayer. As the first shots will get, sh we'll get put into it pretty shortly. Um, I don't think next round will next wave will use and see how that looks. Really some of the shots going through, not very but a couple. I love this game. Very, very cool. Very well made. Alright, so let's power up all our weapons for the next round. I think it's round four is coming up, maybe. Level four. Oh man, so where are these guys? They are pretty far away. We've got four Gould, Gould ships. Um, we've got a destroyer called the Reaper, a Tok called the Despite, um, a pyramid ship, which is basically the oldest Gould ship, I believe. Um, it has a lot of fighters. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay in position, please. Don't move. Um, it has a lot of fighters. I'll show you right here. Um, it has some old gate gliders, too. Don't know what those are. Um, we've got... I showed you the talk. Another one of Anubis's ships. Um, this round is going to be relatively hard. Um, it's going to be a lot of waiting, and my furnace just turned on, so I'm going to pause the recording and resume it when they are closer. So I'll see you then. Alright, so my furnace has turned off, and the ships are almost in range. I forgot about one other thing that may drastically increase my shield power, and that is if I hit this, I can do a drastic energy reroute to shields from engines. I don't use the engines anyways, so might as well just put all the power from the engines into the shields in each of my ships. Um, although, what happens with this is if I have to run away, I'm going to die. But I don't plan on running away anytime soon. So let's target the closest ship, which is the Pain Bearer, the Gold Pyramid ship with all of my ships and we'll see how <laughs> destroyed again sometimes it's a little bit glitchy but it'll fire one salvo and then just you know not want to fire again until you click again so the shields are pretty quickly um, some damage right now But, it's gone. Um, I do want to get rid of the Anubis ship. 
because it is the most powerful of the ships and it can do the most damage to my fleet. The Komodo is doing a Anubis' flagship, you really don't want to mess around with it. Alright, I really need to turn down something here. It's so loud. Um. Yeah, okay. It doesn't sound like it's any quieter. Mode is about at half shields, I'd say. Now let's target. Both of these ships. <laughs> yeah. All right, fire at the Now go for the reaper. I want to see how much damage. Why is it not firing? Not that. It is closing in. Let's just power all these weapons right now. I want to see how long it's going to take this Asgard ship to destroy it if it even gets to it. Gould Weaponry has a much higher range. Even with them attacking the Komodo, the shields are recharging. So, well, kind of. They're about. They're staying about the same. So let's we'll see. Each shot doesn't do that much damage. Just get guns. There's a lot more damage. All right. So that's that. little lifeboat there and let's see what is in the next wave so we got another ooh what is that alkesh two alkeshes and two of the lost tribe ships all right cool so we got an anubis hive ship mothership sorry we've got two alkesh which is the smaller um, kind of transporty ships that don't have that great weaponry. Then we've got two of these guys. This is going to be an interesting round, to say the least. And I'm going to pause the recording and resume it once they get closer so you guys don't have to wait as long as I do. Be right back. So, I'm going to interrupt this a little bit. I've decided I want to send all my fighters over there, see how they do. Um... It's basically just going to be a steady stream of fighters. As you can see, they're coming out now. Look at them here. They got some missiles. Um, I don't know what kind of damage they can do. I just want to see. And, you know, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do it. If they don't do any damage, it doesn't really matter to me if I lose them then, you know. So we've got all four of these squadrons. 18 F-302s. Heading out. Yeah, there's 18 of them flying along. Listen to that engine sound. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? So it is going to take them a little bit to get there, but they're traveling very long distance, 40,000 kilometers. More than that when they began. And we'll see what kind of damage they do. Interested? Can't remember exactly, because I last played this mod about, you know, several years ago from this time. They do have flak, so I think they will be able to... Yeah. Alright, so, they're doing a little bit of damage. Already lost one fighter. Um, looks like they mostly have missiles. 
But they've taken them down. Damn, those are loud. They've taken it down about a third. Um, I'm gonna call the remaining guys back. Nope, alright, they're all gone. Um, that is most definitely going to be re re regenerated by the time they get to me. So I'm going to pause it again and then unpause the recording when they're closer, and I'll see you guys then. Alright, they are about 20,000 kilometers away, so it's about time to target the Chasm, Anubis's mothership. Um, the most powerful of all these ships, of course. Um, the Asgard ships, they are hell because they fly so fast, but they're okay. They're relatively easy to attack and destroy. So this guy will be in range in a little bit. I, I don't know the range to be sure. I'm going to have to check it. The, um, let's see who is the closest. The Komodo is the closest. Um, so we'll see at what range it starts to fly. 14,000, that's what I thought it was. So that ship is now taking fire from two of my Thunder Child. Now all three of them. Destroyed very quickly. Didn't stand much of a chance. So I'm gonna split up my firepower for this next, the next smaller ships. Um. Just get rid of them quicker instead of focusing all of my firepower on one of them. Man, that would be Alright, the Komodo is taking down that ship. Let's set them on the Hellstorm. The Torture is taking fire. the Asgard ship is doing a lot of damage to the Asgard ship. So let's set you to attack... What are you attacking? H. Trident. So let's set you to attack the Trident as well. These guys are pretty strong though. Let's see what one of my warheads does. Okay, missiles then? I kinda wanna save the missiles. Jesus, that's loud as hell. I wanna save the missiles for, uh, you know, a last ditch. You know, because I only have now 78 of them, and 80 of them here. So just save them for when I really need them. And let's take out the escape pod. Load all of these. Ooh, a new ship. What do I got? A star, the star struck. Nice, and we got fighters again. This guy's in a pretty decent place right now. So I'll just have him there. So this is a BC-304, but it's not... Sorry, my keys fell. Um, but it is not upgraded with Asgard weaponry. So it doesn't have all those that high Asgard tech, but it has some railguns and some missiles. Um... So it will be useful in attacking the smaller ships. Um, let's see what we got attacking us. We have Apophis's mothership. Worthy opponent. Not nearly as strong as Anubis's. We have three destroyers. And then two of these other Asgard ships. And the Starstruck, it came with some other kinds of fighters. It came with an F-301, which is the first 
uh, Earth Fighter, and it also came with an ancient shuttle, which I think is basically a bomber. It's from Stargate Destiny. Didn't really watch that much of it. I couldn't get over it. My favorite was Atlantis, of course, um, although SG-1, very, very close. But these guys are coming up on, you know, 55,000 kilometers away. So I'm going to, again, pause the video and resume it when they get closer. See you then. All right, welcome back. Sorry, my water bottle's making some noise. Um, they are almost in range. Going to set up the Komodo to fire at Anubis's, or not, sorry, Apophis's mothership. I'm going to set all the other ships to do that as well. Won't use any missiles yet. Last resort, you know, you know the the rules, what I said. So we'll get this going. See how quick that comes out. God, it's so loud. That's one thing I hate about this. The volume is so insane. I might change it a little bit. Hold on. Let me I'll be right back.